G'day. I didn't know if I was going to talk about this or not because it it happened back in January. There was a little bit of drama. You've had plenty of time in advance to know about the exact product you're purchasing and then turn around and spend hours on a review just to shit all over. My Pokemon Scarlet and Violet review and it kind of, it we, it was one of the weirdest things that happened. Somebody, and I'm not going to say who, made a whole video breaking down why I... Well, they were very wrong. They were very wrong about a lot of stuff, but why I shouldn't make a bad review about that game. And it was a really, really, really bad take. And I had no idea that that video had even been made. I didn't know it existed. But then a pretty large YouTube channel called The Act Man actually covered the review of my review and defended me and not so much me as a person, but more just the concept of what I was doing, you know, reviewing games and why wouldn't or shouldn't I be allowed to do that. And then in, in, in a form of inception where now we're going to be reacting to somebody reacting to the reaction of something that happened about me, Asmund Gold actually watched on stream Ackman's video watching the it's it's it, we're, we're like four or five layers deep and there was a lot of things said about me that even these two wonderful gentlemen who had a lot of nice things to say about the concept of reviewing things in general don't know about me or the review this is why i guess i'm not allowed to review games anymore or why i won't be reviewing games ever again because it's a silly thing to do isn't it really to just go online and talk about something i haven't made either positively or badly you know I, I i mean i can't i can't imagine anybody making a career off of that or that being useful to people at all online you know reviewing products to tell people if they're worth buying or not and now I'm in my kitchen, which for you guys means one of two things. Option A, I'm about to give away three Nintendo Switches on the channel. <laughs> Option B, it's a sponsored video. It's one or the other. Factor, baby! I thought you were gonna say there were Switches in there. <laughs> there could be, there's not. There's actually delicious chef prepared meals in here that only take about two minutes to cook. In fact, you know what? Let's cook one while I'm here talking about cooking them. Let me get these delicious smoothies out of the way too. Shredded chicken taco bowl. You know, I just worked out. That sounds pretty good to me. Get a knife. That's not a knife. But while that's cooking, it gives me two minutes to tell you everything I love about Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutritional goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. And then I brought it inside, put it in the microwave, and I get to eat in two minutes. It's so convenient, fast, and fresh. And I don't even have to worry about what I'm cooking today. Isn't that right, big girl? And she gets to eat some too. She loves Factor. Silly to anything, actually. She's a trash dumpster. I wouldn't take her word for it. <laughs> for me, I like that it's helping me hit my goals. I wanted to get healthier, get back in the gym. I get the calorie smart options. There's also keto and chef's choice, veggie and vegan. And I just realized it's too late. They cook way too quick. I cooked the sour cream. Look. I'm making a video. So if you want to grab some delicious Factor meals, which you really should, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code BEATEMUPS50 to get 50% off your first box. What do you think? <gasps> she loves it! She loves it! And you'll love it too. Click the link down below, BEATEMUPS50. I'm gonna get back to the video. Thank you, bye. Let's uh, let's dive on in and watch. If you don't know who these two people are, so th this is Asmund Gold down here. Um, and then this is, I believe, the Act Man. I am actually not too familiar with him, but I believe that's the good guy. I believe that's the good guy. There's a bad guy somewhere in here, and I think that's the good guy. <laughs> Pokemon Scarlet and Violet criticism makes money. There are still a large number of people that are shitting on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and the Nintendo Switch in general. Yeah. All right, I immediately, I immediately need to pause because whoever's making this video, I don't think they know who I am at all. The way they said crapping on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and the Switch in general, hey, not me, my guy. There are Joy-Cons in my logo. I love the Nintendo Switch. I didn't make 
my review of this game just to crap on how bad it looks because the Switch is underpowered. I even had a whole segment in the video that you clearly didn't watch or get to or care to research before you made your crummy video talking about how it's not the Switch's fault. I compared several games like Xenoblade and Monster Hunter Rise as shining examples of fantastic games that look incredible on the console, and this is purely a Game Freak problem. And it is a problem. And there, there was so much to be said. I made like a half hour video because there was so much to be said about this game looking the, and playing the way it does when we have so many other great games on a console that can handle better. Okay? Okay. Yeah, I know. Believe it or not, pretty crazy that they're milking the hell out of Also, Urcha, wonderful human being. I mean, Urcha Gamer is, she's, she's a white drag of all the people. There's so many large Switch channels that you could take a shot at. And here we have someone out there doing their best, doing it, doing it. They're not doing anything bad. Like why, why pull that channel of all channels? Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Somebody's a little jealous. Somebody's a little envious of, uh, of success, I think is the issue here. Of Nintendo. But hey, content's content. Content's content. Yeah, it's, it's YouTube, man. Something bad? Hey, look, that thing's bad. Here's my video on it. Something's awesome? Hey, that thing's awesome. Here's my video on it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we make videos. Exactly. I mean, I don't, I, I mean, I, I feel like that says it all. I, that's just what we're doing here. We're just making videos. I'm just making videos about things that I like or don't like. And I want to also say that I didn't just make a video saying this game is bad and rant about it for 10 minutes. Not that there's anything wrong with that content, but I, I, I edit that thing to crap. I filmed it in a way that I thought was unique and entertaining. I had skits. I had a song at the end of the video. Like I'm trying to create content, some fun, entertaining content around the concepts of, well, this game actually kind of sucks and doing something special with it. The, whoever it is reacting to my video, saying that my video is bad, you realize you're doing the same thing, right? You are reviewing my review. You're doing exactly the same thing. And I want to ask you, where was your song at the end of the video? These, these social media influencers, these YouTubers, uh, they, they have no merit. They have no ground. No merit, no ground. Um, I showed the gameplay of Scarlet and Violet. I think it speaks for itself. Okay, so now Ackman is here defending himself because I, I assume he's also made a video on this game and how bad it is. But his point stands for me too, you know? All I was doing is showing the game for what it was and talking about it. I don't need merit to do that one. You know, the game itself has all the merit it needs to show itself being bad. But as far as merit, 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 who has merit then? Who, who, in terms of video game reviews, who has merit over anybody? Gone out and played Pokemon Scarlet and Violet after knowing it was a massive glitchy mess, knowingly paid $60 for this game, and then turned around and spent hours on a review just to on it. They weren't sent a pre-copy. They weren't sent a copy ahead of time. They People that get pre-copies don't on games like that. Oh my God. They did make, that guy right there, that Ackman guy, you, whoo, it did make a lot of good points. I, I don't understand this logic at all. I don't understand this logic at all. So the person making this video is trying to say, you can only talk negatively about a game and crap on it if you got it for free. If you got it for a review copy, you only have the right to talk badly about it if it was given to you. But if you paid for it, if you actually spent money on it and you have the full experience that everybody else is going to have of going to GameStop and spending money on it and buying in to experience it, that's when you can't talk bad about it because you knew, you knew when you bought it that it was gonna be bad and you paid for it so you can't have a bad thing to say. I would argue that when you get something for free, it tastes a little sweeter. You know what I mean? What? So you're upset that people are making bad reviews of a game like a month or two after it came out. Well, I love how people gatekeep being able to do a review of a game. Yeah. Also, I love that doing a video on the game a month or two later somehow devalues its merit again, right? Like it's been a month or two. We all know it's bad. You can't make the video now. No, the reason why my video took a month to come out is because I played the game for like 90 hours before I even started writing my review. And again, if you watch it, there was a music song. There was a, I made a song 
that took a week in itself to make the song, to make the video more entertaining, to give it more value and make it more fun and make light of a kind of crappy situation. As if somebody that plays the game and a lot of people, get, this guy gives a review and everybody else is like, yeah. And this is somehow like not relevant or not reasonable. Like, what do you mean? Genius. Not everybody f***s out a video in one day, okay? Sometimes it takes time. Maybe I don't want to play- I just said that. <laughs> Individuals who will literally go out, buy the game, just to make content on it because it's trendy. Why- You're showing me while you say that. That people will go out and buy the game just to make content on it? Again, look at my channel, my guy. Not to brag. I feel like defending myself leads to what is brag adjacent, but I, I'm the largest Nintendo Switch channel. <laughs> I'm going to review the new Pokemon games, you know? Also, I like how you're saying that I'm doing it just for clicks while showing my video, showcasing some of the worst parts the game has to offer. Like, how are you defending the game at this point of all points? I would stop using my video for your for your evidence while you're prattling on because it's not doing you any favors. I would just go grab your own gameplay of the game in places that maybe look a little nicer. What do you gain by spending $60 on a game a month later after the game is released? What do you gain? Views you gain? Okay, I, I bought the game on launch. I didn't buy it a month later. It just takes a while to make a review like I made, you know. Have you ever tried to make a song? I keep going back to that. You tried? It's not easy. <laughs> Content. Why would you make a video, a review? Why would you give a company $60 of your hard earned money? Why would you spend 250 to 300? Is this guy? F yes, whatever you're about to say, Asmund. Yes, he is. He is that. Whatever you're about to say, he is that. For, is he just now learning about how reviews work? Yes. <laughs> Why would you make a video, a review? Why would you give a company $60 of your hard earned money? Why would I spend $60 on a game, give Pokemon Company my hard earned money, and then turn around and review it badly? Here's why. I needed the game to play it. $60 of your hard earned money. Also, it is hard earned money, but I, it's also my job, so I claim it on taxes. It's not a big deal. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know, one, it's extremely underpowered. Why would I spend money on a game console? Because it's it's where the games are. Because I bought it five years ago. You've had both are good points, actually. Both made very good points there. Yeah, because I bought it five years ago. Because it's where the games are. I didn't go out and buy a Switch when Pokemon Scarlet and Violet launched and then went, Ugh, the Switch kind of sucks. The Switch is awesome. The Switch can do a lot better than Scarlet and Violet. Because I bought it five years ago. You've had plenty of time in advance to know about the exact product you're purchasing. You still- This guy, weirdly, is not only attacking a video game review, like, like as a concept, you know, reviewing video games badly at all as a concept. I guess he only wants good reviews. He only ever wants to see good reviews for any video game and doesn't understand why on God's green earth anyone would make a bad video game. But he's also defending this game by saying, yeah, the Switch is underpowered. What did you expect? This game's actually sick and awesome considering how underpowered the Switch is. No, this is actually great. There's nothing wrong with this game. This game's mwah, because what do you expect on the Switch? Again, not doing any research to find out or discover for themselves that this isn't what the Switch is capable of and it can do so much more. Ironically, if they had watched my review that they're complaining I shouldn't have made, they would have learned all of this. See how that's ironic? You see how you actually kind of needed my video, but you're, you're, you're laughing about why I even made it when you are probably my target demographic? <laughs> do it all you do all of it and then turn around and spend hours on a review just why did i why did i spend money on a game to review it because i'm not gonna steal it well folks it's been an interesting wow. year
hasn't it? So I'm not trying to be facetious when I say I, I didn't know who Ackman was before this, but they seem awesome. And Asmund Gold had some really good takes here too, just reacting to the, you know, the same thing that we're reacting to here, this horrible take by somebody who I don't even, I don't even know who it is. But I thought it was interesting that my, my video ended up causing such discourse to the point where it had two large creators having to react to somebody's bad take. I don't know why people can't separate, you know, the things they love or nostalgia from their own personal bias and and why why they feel so I don't know what the word is so insecure I guess about the fact that a thing they love maybe isn't the best all right that's it I just wanted to take a look at this I thought it was interesting and I thought you guys would get a kick out of it honestly it I forgot about it and until recently it's not something that's affecting me and I'm definitely not going to stop reviewing games I'm not going to stop re that's that's silly. I, in fact, I'm working on another eShot video right now with 10 more games in it. So I have like 10 more reviews down the pipeline. Don't worry. I love what I do here on, on this platform. And I, I have always tried so hard to remain unbiased in every single one of my reviews and have a, and make them fun and entertaining. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed whatever this was. And I have a bunch of cool videos coming really soon. I love you all. And I will see you soon. Goodbye.